Today we're going to talk about all of the Vertex bags that I actually use in my daily life. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I hope you guys are all doing well on this Monday morning. Today we are going to be talking about all of the Vertex bags and Vertex products that I actually use in my daily life. Now I've already done quite a few videos on a lot of these bags and products that we're gonna be talking about today. So if you want any more information on these, you can find links in the description down below to previous videos. And you can also find some right up here in the cards. If at any time during this video you see something that you like, you can find it on the Vertex website right now and code TALENTSI is good for 25% off anything that they sell. So with that being said, let's jump into my current EDC bag. Right here I have the Vertex Gamut Checkpoint. Now previously I was using my all-time favorite pack from Vertex and that is the EDC Ready Pack. I've done a full video on that one in the past but times have changed a little bit since I've been in the van and I decided that I needed something just a little bit bigger because I'm working out of my bag so often. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't completely love the checkpoint version of the gamut because of the sort of teardrop shape to it. If I set the bag down on its bottom like this, can't really hold itself up, whereas the gamut is sort of this but reverse, so it has a larger bottom. I think in the future I'm actually gonna switch back to the gamut. But for now, this is what I'm rocking with. We got a quick access pocket up top here. I'll throw keys and stickers, things like that. We have some water bottle pockets on each side, which I don't really utilize all that often. Big molly compartment up front, pretty standard for a lot of these Vertex bags. You have the big compartment on top, which I will get into in a second. And then of course on the back here, we have sort of a laptop sleeve and I'm running a body armor panel in here because why not? Now getting into the bulk of this bag, why did I opt for a bigger bag? Well, I'm always carrying around my computer, my iPad, some lenses, camera batteries and things like that. But it's also nice to have a little bit extra room to carry some other essentials like this right here. Now that being said, one thing that I did do to this bag to actually prevent printing is I cut a piece of foam. It fits the bottom of the bag. Slide it right in the bottom there. That way any barrel or anything that is going to be in the bottom of this bag here is not going to be poking out and protruding in any way. It's also a good way to protect whatever you have in here. This thing opens up all the way like this. I keep a lot of camera accessories, chargers, SD card readers, and all sorts of stuff like that in here. Then I have the big pocket here, which is also movable. Again, I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro and then my iPad Pro. That's how I make all of the photos and videos that you guys see every single week. So the pack is super comfortable. It's definitely big enough for what I need. But like I said in the future, I think I'm gonna switch back to a regular gamut just because I like the design and the overall shape of the other one a little bit more than the checkpoint. So that right there is my EDC bag, the one that is pretty much always on my back, going into coffee shops, into friends places, things like that. But there is another bag that I have actually never shown on the channel before, and this is one that I also use every single day. I keep that right back here in my bathroom shower area. This one's a big boy. So this right here is the Vertex Contingency Duffel. This is an 85 liter duffel bag and it has a lot of really cool functionality built into it. It's made out of all of the premium materials that Vertex bags are typically known for. And I keep about three to possibly four weeks worth of clothing in here. T-shirts, boxers, socks, pants, I mean, you name it, it's in here. So on each side, that's where I keep things like socks and boxers, things like that over here. There are two eyelets on this bag, so you can actually wear this thing as a backpack. This really never leaves the van, so I actually don't even have those straps with me, but as a, just a duffel bag, it's pretty kick-ass. Huge top compartment here with some standard mesh zippers all over each side. And then here I just have a ton of clothing. Like I said, t-shirts and hoodies. They even have like swimming trunks and shorts and basketball shorts, athletic wear. Now there are some functionalities of this bag that are a little outside of the norm for a duffel bag. Like the top pouch here actually zips all the way open. Now this feature was actually designed to be used out in the field somewhere if you are outside. Like right now, there's probably about three to six inches of snow on the ground. If 
for some reason I'm outside and I need to be changing, I can unzip this bag fully, lay this material on the snow, and then I can stand on top of here to change my shoes, change my pants, or whatever I need to do. This bag is just like a lot of other Vertex bags. They are designed for like mission specific applications. And because of that, if I open this pocket on the side here, this actually has one of the Vertex quick pull tabs. This is a pretty standard pocket here. They have some Velcro material all over the inside of this thing. So if you want to put some Tactigami on there, you can totally do that. But there's also a concealed pocket that runs down the side of this bag all the way across the front of this pouch into this side over here. So now if I have something like this again, I can put it right in the side there, zip this thing up and it can accommodate a pretty decent sized pistol, rifle, if you got a folding adapter on it. So that is sort of like the tactical aspect of the contingency duffel. So like I said, this is a bag that I use every single day when I wake up and shower, need to change the clothing, I will come in here and grab whatever I need. Now, as I put this one away, I might as well grab the other bag that I use every single day. And that is another contingency bag. This is the Contingency Outbound Kit. Now, with a name like that, you would think that this is like a super tactical, purpose-driven bag, and it may be, but from my perspective, it's a toiletry bag. It has a nice big grab handle on the top here like you'll find on a lot of their backpacks. It has a long connection point here if you want to hang it from somewhere. I typically just leave this thing folded up and throw it either in my cabinet or just leave it out here on my little countertop area. It's got another big grab handle on the side here so you can easily load this into a backpack like my checkpoint there if you're traveling. And then when we get to the inside here, it's a pretty standard toiletry bag. Up here is a pouch where you can keep things like Q-tips got deodorant and hair product, toothpaste, nail clippers, scissors, and just all sorts of random toiletry items in here. Very simple bag. I was super stoked when they came out with this because I knew I was going to use it as a toiletry bag right from the start and packs out really nicely. So that is yet another bag that I use every single day. Now, speaking of all of these products that I'm constantly using, I've gotten a few questions about this hoodie right here. This is also coming from Vertex. It's a really nice material. It's cut super well, so I actually like the way that it sort of fits me. The only real tactical aspect of this would be on the inside pocket here. It looks like a normal hoodie pocket, but if you listen, there's actually a zipper underneath here so you can have your hands come through here and access whatever you may need to pull out of your pockets, you know? Now I actually find this zipper pretty useful in environments like say you're out in public at a bar or a restaurant or something like that. If you're carrying appendix, like I of course do every single day, when you're sitting down on a stool or something that may be uncomfortable, you tend to want to like adjust the position of your holster and things like that. You can actually unzip your hoodie pocket and I'm just sitting here like this with my hands in my pocket and I can adjust whatever I have in my waistline there and then zip it right back up and it doesn't really look like you're fidgeting around with anything. And then of course there's the defensive aspect to it if you're trying to be inconspicuous. Maybe you're in a bad place at night walking out of a gas station. You have your hands in your pockets. You see some fishy characters off to the left. You can simply unzip that, get a good firm master grip on the firearm that you have in your holster and then you can have that thing ready to go pretty damn quickly. So those are the three main bags that I've been using every single day. I love Vertex products and I hope if you took my recommendation and never tried one out, I hope you guys enjoy it too. I do have one more bag though that came out very recently and I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it, but I told you on Instagram that I would show you in a video. So let me go grab that. Right here, I have the Sock P Sling. Now, if you're into knives or tactical training, if you've been watching some videos on my channel for a while now, you've probably heard of Sock P and also the designer, Greg Thompson. This dude has been training people in the Special Forces for years and years now, and he, of course, designs things like this right here, the Sock P Dagger from Benchmade. He also designed this sling right here, which is basically designed to be used with a sock P dagger like that right there. Now this thing has like a super tactical application. I've seen a lot of Vertex's media that they put out there on it. And from my perspective, it's not really 
designed for like civilian use. It's really designed for undercover, military, police, law enforcement agencies, stuff like that. From my perspective though, just an average dude, I actually did use this for about a week for just my EDC gear. So let me zoom in and I'll run through this pack real quick. So I have the sling set up just riding across my chest like you see it right here and sort of looks like a fanny pack. You could wear it around your waist. It actually does come with some molly in the rear with metal clips so you can clip it onto a pack. I took those off because this is actually how I was using this sling for a little while. Now in the front pocket here, we have one zipper and this is actually a cell phone pocket lined with some clear material in here. Now what this is actually for is for your cell phone. So if I take my cell phone and put it in video mode, just like this right here, hello everyone. I can drop my cell phone while it's recording, live streaming or anything like that into this pocket. And now each side of this actually opens up. You can tuck that flap away. And now if you don't know about this product, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that I'm actually recording you guys right now. So this can sort of be used as a low key way to have a body cam on you. Again, something like this is very tactical for an average civilian, but you know, maybe that's something that you will find useful. Now the entire cell phone pocket also flips down like this, so if you have some maps on your phone, you can use this as guidance while you're out in the field. And then you could also store some things on here just like any of the other sling packs. The transit or the commuter, they open up in this similar fashion that way. If you have something in your hands and you need to just sort of hold it on your person, you can just throw something there just like that. Now moving back a little bit further, we have a bigger pouch right here with some of the pretty traditional mesh pockets in here, both one in the front and the rear. We also have this little guy connected to a lanyard in there. This can be used as a coin purse. If you open up that Velcro right there, you can pack some coins into there and then you could use it as a self-defense tool as well. Again, that's something that I would probably never use, but it's there and does have a purpose. Now the sock piece sling does have a quick disconnect here, so if you need to get out of this thing quickly, you can do that. You can run it in quite a few different configurations like I mentioned. And then there's one more zipper on the underside of this pouch. Now if I reach in from the top here and push down, this bag actually expands a little bit, so you could put even more gear in there. Let's grab something big and ridiculous like a Hydro Flask here. As you can see, <laughs> it holds quite a lot more now, so there's just a little bit more functionality there. Now again, like I mentioned, this thing was actually designed by Greg Thompson, who created the Sock P Dagger, which means that this thing has the functionality to hold a Sock P Dagger right in the back. Now the included sheath that these daggers come with fit perfectly in the Molly webbing back here. This of course is the mini, but you can fit a full size no problem. And it's actually really easy to access, sort of hidden by the clip over here if you are wearing it in the same fashion as I am. I simply reach up here and index that buckle and then just push my finger through that hole and now you have access to the dagger. Now let me show you how I was actually utilizing this thing for the week that I was using it. I'm not currently using it anymore because I prefer throwing stuff in my pockets, but I have my cell phone, pocket knife I can throw right up here, open the top pouch, throw my wallet in there, grab my keys from off my belt line, throw my keys in there, cinch that pocket back up, and there we go. Now my pockets are completely empty. I have no weight pulling on my jeans or my belt. And whenever I'm going somewhere, if I hop in the van and I'm going for a drive, I don't wanna have my pockets loaded out. I can simply take this thing off, throw it on my dashboard, and then when I'm ready to hop out of the vehicle, grab it one more time, throw it over in its sling fashion, and go about my day. So there you guys have some information on the sock piece sling. Again, that is something that I told you I would bring you guys over on Instagram. So if you guys have any questions on my setups between the three main bags that I use, the hoodie, any other Vertex apparel, or the sock piece sling, let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you decide to pick anything up, you can use code TALENTSI at checkout for 25% off your order. And I believe that is going to be all for today. So if you are new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. And as always, thank you for watching. I will talk to you in the next one.